I am in New Orleans, New Orleans. Um, it's very confusing for me to say it because some people, some people call it New Orleans, some people call it New Orleans. I think we're going to stick with New Orleans. We actually landed yesterday and then it was really rushed. I, um, we almost missed the flight, so it was very rushed. Um, but it was a very, very great night and we had such amazing food and we're living on this very like lively street. We went to this really nice gumbo place, which the gumbo was amazing. Uh, it was chicken and sausage gumbo and then we had some like fish dis dishes. I'm not the biggest fan of fish, but it was amazing still. Um, so yeah, you can watch all of that right now. We're basically here again to try all the food. Um, I've never been to the south of the country, so this is my first time. We're going to be here, then we're going to go to Texas, Houston. Um, but I will be sharing all the food that we're eating. And today we're going out for brunch, actually, we're late, so um, I will skip to brunch right now. We did a lot today. We went to the world famous Cafe du Monde. 
um, I've, I saw Café du Monde on Chef once. It's a movie with John Favreau and they travel across America on like a food journey and they have a... What do you call it? Um, they have a... Like a taco stand but like a food stand. A food stand of some sort and they came to New Orleans and uh, ate Café du Monde beignets that we ate and they were really good. I'm not a big fan of beignets but here to die for. It comes out hot. It comes out with so much sugar. It's amazing and then you have it with coffee and here coffee is the same as South Indian coffee which has chikri. Chikri is like the um, leftover coffee not powder but like from the coffee seed um the parts that you're not supposed to have they also mix that in i think it usually happens in cultures that weren't very rich and so they saved all the parts good and bad of anything and so they saved the chikri and they put it in the coffee and so we had that which was also good so yeah we had beignets and then we had we had these sandwiches called po boys poor boy sandwiches we had roast beef two kinds me and my dad and then we also had some chicken po boy and fried okra okra is my favorite vegetable fried okra i used to have every day as a kid obviously it's a little different from the indian style fried okra uh, but again really really good and i also had cheese fries which was just very tasty very indulgent very tasty since we've had so much today i think we're gonna take it a little bit easy and probably focus on the music the jazz tonight go out to a few jazz bars uh and maybe nibble on some things i'm not too sure i've eaten way too much tonight but i think when i go out and see some food i might might just have to have a little bit of food <laughs> Day two in New Orleans, technically three, two and a half maybe. We went out last night to um, a few jazz places. It was so much fun and it was so free and nice to see people like come up even from the audience and start singing and people doing different instruments like a guitarist going to the drums, to the um, you know trumpet, like doing everything. Everyone's just so musically talented here. Um, which makes everyone else who comes to visit feel pretty bad about themselves. Today we're going to take some take a walking tour of the French quarters, I think. Get to know a little bit of history. Right now I'm going for breakfast to Café de Fleur, I think is the name. But I'm late, so I have to catch up. Um, I hope you're enjoying the vlog, travel video, food video. I hope you're enjoying the food video um till now but there's lots more
just finished our walking tour. It was a lot of fun because there was a lot that we didn't know about New Orleans and now we do. And I think it was very relaxing as well. Um, like it wasn't very fast paced and like look at this, look at this. It was more about the history and culture and food which obviously I love food. That's why I'm making these food blogs. Um, and now we're here at this restaurant just having a snack. Um, our tour guide also recommended a really great Cajun food place in the city, so outside the French Quarter. Um, so that's where we'll go next for food. So just gonna have some tiny bites here. No, I need After a little break, we're headed out finally. It's 7.15 I think. We're going to a park for sunset and then dinner at Toops Meatery. We're gonna have dinner there. It's in town. That's what our tour guide recommended to us. So yeah, you'll see it now. Actually no, maybe you'll see it in a few videos but you'll see it soon. I've been looking for oat milk everywhere and there is oat milk here. Do you have a matcha with, uh, without any sugar? Mm -hmm. um, and oat milk? Yeah. Okay. Anywhere. Matcha with oat milk, please. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm taking out one oh. from the bottom. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I don't think you are allowed to fix. I'm fixing it for your sake. Oh, so, okay, sorry. no, no, it's okay. No, 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 too late. No, 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 no. Every time I put it in, that is what is sugar cube. End of day two and a half. I don't know if you can still hear the music, but there's a lot of music. It's a Wednesday, and I think there's like more crowd coming in, and tomorrow is going to be even worse. Tomorrow's our last day here. So that'll be fun, but it'll be nice to see it really crowded, you know, like. I don't think it's going to reach its maximum, but it'll still be very crowded, so that'll be fun. Tomorrow is a new day. There's lots more to eat. <laughs> we had a really nice meal at this meatery, but we ordered a lot of um, random like starters and stuff, which was also so good. Also ordered an elk, but we had to cancel it because just too much food. Too much food. I'm so stuffed. <laughs> But I, I will obviously eat tomorrow. Day three. Not much on our list today except for going for breakfast, going for lunch, going for dinner. Um, we've booked a really nice place for dinner. We'd actually seen it the first day we were here. But they are shut on Tuesday and Wednesday. So we booked um, a place for dinner today, Thursday. And uh, for breakfast, we're going to this other place. We have to Uber there, so we're getting out of the French quarters. Um, let's see how it is. Up till now, I think the first meal was the best, the dinner at St. John. I think the breakfast was also good the next day. I'm really liking the gumbo and the jambalaya, I guess, because Indian taste. Um, although spices are very different, but it's spicy and um, curry type and you know rice what's not to like
for the video. food we ate a lot as you saw and um, we walked we walked a lot but i don't think it was enough so once i get back to california i have to maybe eat healthy follow a particular diet but it was all worth it even in california i never went for southern food i never ordered southern food but i i loved it i loved it so much um all their sides their grits and corn and cornbread and biscuits and gravy i love it i think i like the sides the most um had jambalaya today which i had had before but i wanted a whole meal of jambalaya so that was tasty i've had better the coat of two sisters one was way better my favorite food item would be gumbo in New Orleans which is great because if you know Princess Diana she loves gumbo so thank you so much for watching I make these videos because I love food and I love to travel and whenever I'm traveling I feel like recording and you know having it for memories and when I make a video it's like it's all accumulated so I don't have to search through skim through like multiple videos to find the good part it's like I'm making a whole video um with all the good parts and then i share it because why not so if you guys like it please let me know and i'll make more <laughs>